What is going on YouTube? It's Sank here. We're back with another one. Alright guys, so we're finishing off the week on a high and the portfolio continues to perform strong. And I know if you guys have been jumping onto our channel plays, yours is also looking good as well. That being said, I want to go over some strategy for some of our channel plays so you guys are set and ready for the stock market next week. Now before I get to it, I'm going to need you guys to hit that like button for me. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the journey. Now, Alpine Fort is on today's agenda, but before I get to that, let's cover off a couple other plays. So Music's Cloud says, bought skills at $28 is doing well, it's at 45 now. When would be a good time to sell or shall I wait till the end of 2021? Up on screen, that's our play skills currently trading at $43. Now if you're new to this one, they're a gaming play that's very popular with developers because it allows them to better monetize and they're also very popular with the gamers because it has that streaming and competitive element to it. So there's high user engagement on the platform and as a result, this business is flying. Now, since we last spoke about skills a week ago, they are up almost 60%. And as you can see, I'm holding my 55 shares strong in this one, currently standing over 60% return, and we're making our way up to that 100. Now, last time we spoke about skills, they were on a dip, and I mentioned you guys should catch that dip. It's looking like a good buying opportunity, and they just partnered with a company called Play Mechanica for exclusive rights over a game. And I mentioned one of the key catalysts for that skill stock price is the partnerships that they make going forward, and they've topped that move by going ahead and partnering with the NFL. Now the play here is that the developers are gonna to compete to produce a NFL themed game on the skills platform. Now this is a great strategic partnership because not only does it introduce the hundreds of millions of NFL fans onto the skills platform, it also diversifies the games that skills offer because right now they're quite concentrated with a couple of games. So I like this move by the business and as we can see, the investors also like this one, that stock price was flying this week. Now they're planning to roll this out Q2 2021, so it's not too long of a wait left. Now I do see them making further partnerships as we progress with this year and building their business because they've got a big revenue forecast of over 300 million to hit and I do think they're gonna hit that number with the momentum that this business is carrying forward. Now guys, let's talk strike price on our skills play. If you can catch this one under $35, do consider adding this one to your portfolio and joining us. My plan is to hold this one right through the year because I do see a lot more positives to come for skills. K says snaps and pins, long or short. Up on screen we have snaps currently trading at $63. Now if you guys remember from over last weekend, I said it's earnings season right now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna crush a couple of plays by jumping into them ahead of their earnings and when they outperform, we're gonna see that stock price increase and guys, that's exactly what we've done. Now Snap's earnings came in strong at around 900 million versus estimates of 850 million. EPS came in at nine versus estimates of seven. That's why we've seen that stock price increase. So on the week, we are up 20% in this one. So on the put on your radar that management guidance for Q1 has come in lower than expected. So there should be some volatility in that stock price going forward. So the strategy with this play is we're gonna take out 50 to 100% of this play, use that capital and go and invest in another high growth play. The next play I said we're gonna crush ahead of earnings was Pinterest. When I put them on your radar, they were sub $70. Earnings came in strong, 70% increase in that revenue, right up to 700 million. So good result for this company. Right now they're standing at $81 on the week's performance. We are up another 20% in this play. Now again, outlook is mixed with this one, so I do expect them to be consolidating in the 80s for some period of time. So the strategy with this play is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out anywhere between 25 to 50%, let that stock consolidate, we'll leave some in, because I do see a lot of upside for this stock, for this play, there's still a lot more room for them to grow. We're gonna use that 25 to 50%, and we're gonna go and invest in another high growth play. Liam L. Messi says, I really like hymns, I have my strike price, but what's yours? Up on screen we have Hims and Hers, that's ticker symbol HIMS, currently standing at $24. This is the telemedicine play that is focused on the millennials. You guys know that this is one of our channel plays that I said it's gonna double up. I do see this one hitting that $40 mark by the end of the year. This is a great play, super high growth, and I like the niche that they're focusing on. So as we can see on the week's performance, we are up on this play 26% on no news. So you can see that as some investor excitement around hymns already. So when those catalysts do come along, you're gonna see that stock price increase and when it hit that $30 mark. Now it wasn't too long ago that I put this play on your radar when they were standing at $16. Now they've traded up to $24 and we've almost made 50% return in this play. So I want you guys to keep your eyes on them. And if you can catch them under the strike price of $21, do consider adding this one to your portfolios. James says, what's the best play with Alpine 4 Technologies? 
All right, guys, so this is our main event for the evening. Up on screen, we have Alpine 4 Technologies, ticker symbol ALPP, currently standing at $7.30. If we go to that week's performance, we can see this one has been flying up 94%, and I'm holding 300 shares strong in this play. We are up 183%. Now, if you're new to Alpine 4, this is one of our channel MVP plays. This is a holding company. They go out and acquire different businesses in high growth sectors. Last year, they were very focused on the drone sector and they're looking to be a leader in that space. But they have their platform businesses, one being Quality Circuit Assembly, which manufactures printed circuit boards, which can be used in a range of different industries, such as sensors. We know they're used in drones and other high growth industries. Now, as you guys know, I've always said, due to their acquisition nature and their business mission, this one has the real potential to fly. All you have to do is be patient through that volatility and you're going to be rewarded. So I want to go for a couple of company updates and let you guys know my perspective. They've gone ahead and acquired their second patent for a vehicle rear end collision product. Now, I think this is a great business move. It shows that it can be diversified away from the drone sector. We know they're going to dominate the drones, but now they're making their entry into the smart vehicle sector, which is on the rise. Now, they've come out and announced that they believe that they can sell tens of millions of these at full scale. Now, the news that dropped today is that one of their Vayu drones is going to attempt the Guinness World Record for the longest drone flight. Now, on the surface, this might not seem like a big deal, but if you actually think about it, this is a big PR event because what it does is it puts their drones in the spotlight of potential commercial partners down the line because we know that a lot of these commercial partners in the healthcare space, in the delivery space, are looking for drones that can fly for a long period of time. And now, here we have Alpine 4 showcasing the capabilities of their drones. All right guys, time for the strike price on our Alpine 4 Technologies play. I'm setting that strike price at $4.50. Now, it's significantly lower than the current share price, but this movement does remind me of the first time that Alpine ran up and passed that $4 mark. It came back down to $2. So guys, gotta sell it low. I do expect some volatility in this stock. And if you can catch it under $4.50, do consider loading up because they're gonna ride back up to that $7 mark. All right guys, so it's our session on chart analysis and we're covering the relative strength index, that's RSI for short. Now the RSI gives investors a signal of when you should buy and sell a stock by showing you when the stock is overbought, that is when the stock is trading above the value, so it's a sell indication, and when it's oversold, that means that that stock is trading below its value, so that's a buy indication. So up on screen, we have the Alpine 4 stock price. I'm gonna use this as an example of how we can apply the RSI to tell us whether we should buy or sell this stock. Now I've received a lot of questions from you guys over today. Should you buy Alpine 4? Should you sell Alpine 4? So let me show you what the RSI is telling us. So typically the RSI is done over a 14 day period and the RSI goes from 0% right up to 100%. Now, when that stock is over 70%, that means it's overbought and that gives you a sell signal. And when the stock is below 30%, that means it's oversold and that's giving you a buy signal. So let me apply that to the chart. All right guys, so up on screen, we have the Alpine 4 stock price above and we have the RSI below. So as you can see, this is the 30% line, which shows you that if that stock is below the line, that is a buy signal. And if the stock price is above the top line, which is 70%, that gives you an indication that it's a sell signal because the stock is overbought. So as you can see right now, that Alpine Force Technology stock price is above that 70% line. So that's giving you a indication, a sell signal indication if you use the RSI tool. Now, because the RSI is giving a sell indication on the Alpine 4 Technology stock price, that doesn't mean you should go ahead and sell your shares. I'm actually planning to hold this one. A good strategy would be to trim some profit off the top ahead of some potential volatility but it could also give you a useful indication of what to potentially expect next. That stock price might come down below that 70% overbought line. All right, guys, so that wraps things up. Do hit that like button for me. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, do hit that subscribe button. Join the journey. Also, do check out the link down below to the Patreon where you'll get access to the Discord where you can join our team of investors and enter into some additional plates. So, guys, over this weekend, I'm going to be prepping you guys ready for Monday morning opening bell on the stock market so we're set and ready to go. So, as I always say, check into the channel each and every day. Stock market is rapidly moving. You never want to miss a beat. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.